Hello! It is, uh, it is I. Uh, me. Who am I? Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, it's, it's very early in the morning for me today. Um, it is... 8.30 in the a.m. So good morning, people. I hope that you're appreciating your cereal and or other things, but let's be real. If you're watching this, you're probably watching this on YouTube, and I have no idea what time of day you will be watching this. So I am just getting the final setup prepared here before I jump into everything. So, I was thinking today we would do some more Grim Rock. I greatly enjoyed my first stream of this game, and I am very much so looking forward to kind of continuing our adventure today. I don't really remember exactly where I left off, but I figure I'll probably get right back into this, seeing as I streamed this last yesterday, so it should be pretty e or the day before, maybe? Gosh, I can't remember. Yeah. I was actually very sick yesterday, um, so I can't remember if I streamed early in the morning before I got sick, or if that was a later event. Okay, let's, um... I fell into a chasm, I believe. Really feed up my my friendos here, shouldn't I? Oh, oh, I'm just I'm just suddenly like having it come back to me how like intensely quiet this game actually is. Like, do you want to feel alone in a dungeon? Because this game will make you feel alone in a dungeon. Okay, so we successfully acquired a bow, I think. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and equip the bow again. Cat, go away. This is this is not the time for you. I am not your person. I'm sure you were fed. Be, be gone, foul cat. All right. What was I doing? I'm getting distracted. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I was checking to see what the situation um, looked like on the map. Okay, so there's a door I haven't gone through way over there. Ah, uh, I totally did the thing that I did last time. I'm, I'm very good at this. I am 100% the best at... You know, I'm actually gonna check right now, just to prevent me from doing that again. Orderless. Apply. There we go. Well. I think, yeah, that, that'll... That'll work. That'll work for me. Um, so a little, just a, just a touch awkward, but... Seeing as I cannot move the borderless window, or so it seems. It is, like, locked right in the middle of my screen, but I think I can work around this. And if it prevents me from doing that again, it's definitely worthwhile, I think. Alright, uh, very quickly here, uh, eat a snail slice, give a snail slice to our friend, have them eat a snail slice, and equip the bow. And that is everything caught up. Um, I'm really hoping that we pick up some... Wait a minute. Right, now I remember. I fell down into a pit, and when I got teleported out, it teleported me a little bit further back in the dungeon. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, let's... Gosh, which way did I need to go? I, okay, so this is the very beginning of the dungeon. So we went this way. 
Then we went across, because this is where we fought the archer and where we got the bow. Um, tar beads, cool. I have no idea what those things are, but I'll take them. So here's the pit that I fell into. Here's a... Door? It is probably going to take me a minute to actually figure out what is going on here. Ah, a key. That's good to pick up. Anything... A lever? I think I already pulled that lever. And an empty flask. Okay. So there's some various loot stuffs that I did not pick up before. Um, but I should be close to the door that I haven't gone through, I think. Uh. So I'd have to turn right and go down and then turn around. All right. Okay, so it's through here. Do I need to maybe... I already went down. There wasn't anything down there. Okay, that that opens up that. So let's let's go see what was behind that again. Ah, baked maggot. I I love it when I'm in dank dungeons and I just find baked maggots lying on the ground. You know, I'm just, I'm really curious, is there like... I mean, as you can tell, I do have the, the sound for the game way down, but the, the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn up this slightly, but there, but there really isn't anything going on um, in the, in the ambient noise. Oh boy, I was just wondering if there was like any sort of music option, because like as much as I love the, uh, as much as I love the atmosphere, like playing the game myself, I'm, I like kind of get the feeling that, all right, now that's open. Um, people watching this video might prefer if there was some nice tunes going on in the background. Well, I'll try to keep that in mind, and maybe maybe next time I am playing this game, I will have a playlist of sort of, like, generic fantasy tunes. What's the point of that? I Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now both are depressed, and that's a thing. Okay. I don't think that actually did anything, but sure, why not? And now we're actually making some progress, and our torch is dying. So we're going to need to find a replacement soon. I think that I may want to actually start hoarding torches a little, because the game seems to be getting a little stingy with them. Speaking of which... You know, actually, let's just go ahead and put that there, because... Partially dimmed torches don't seem to matter much on the wall. Which is very fortunate for me. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, today, we're actually starting the stream out with having the entire window visible. I still feel like a total idiot for the start of the stream uh, yesterday, where I've been so focused on fixing my audio and getting it exactly the way that I wanted it that 
I totally spaced out the fact that like a not not a not necessarily a third, more like like a fifth of the screen was not actually visible. <laughs> Have I been here before? No, this is this is new. Okay. Hmm. There's something over there. Oh shit! For some reason, my eyes actually did not register that that was an enemy as I approached. This is one of the toughest enemies I think I've fought in a recent history. I mean, it's the first enemy that I fought this sort of session as I'm sitting down here and trying to get into this experience. Oh, poison. That's no good. I don't think I have anything that can really make the poison go away. You know, I should... I should experiment a little bit just to see if I can get any other spells to work. Uh, not skilled enough to successfully cast that spell. Interesting. Okay. This, uh... I hope this poison goes away soon, because otherwise uh, Ivan here is gonna die, and I'm like, I'm looking, and I'm not really seeing. Okay, this is a herb apparently known for its healing properties, so let's... I cannot seem to use it, though. Hmm. Here we go. I have this, which... Maybe... Okay, this is supposed to be good for strike snake bites, but only in prepared forms. So how do I actually use these herbs? Oh, my, my poor, my poor friendo. You know, I get to sleep. A sleeping always helps, right? I can't hear you, but I know you can hear me. I tried to talk to other people that have been here before you. They were criminals, but I sense that you I can trust. <sighs> Is my friendo going to be dead upon waking up? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, I had a healing potion. <sighs> let's, uh, let's see if that can solve. If I can find... Oh, oh, a mortar and pestle. Hello. Hello. This is, a. Uh... Let's give that to the mage. Okay, let's open up the mortar and pestle, and then... Oh, I, I need to... In... Mm, not quite. Oh, well, the poison's gone. That's good. I, I see here. See what's going on. So one flask and one cave nettle. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give the sack to to our cow friend here, but um I'm actually going to use it for some of these scrolls. That um let's see, do I do I need this? Doors of iron. No, I don't I don't need this one. Let's drop that. Crystal of life. Don't need that.
Don't need to know what a magical staff is. So let's uh, get those all orchestrated. Well, here's that healing potion I was talking about. I mean, honestly, I'm mostly keeping these scrolls so that I know what sort of um, what sort of spells I could cast in a, at a later date. Okay, so flask and cave nettle produces anti venom. Flask, cave nettle, because I, I have a feeling I'm going to need some of these. Anti venom. And uh, healing potion. Let's give that to the to the fighter, who's kind of our frontliner at the moment. And uh, do I have anything else that would be useful? Any other flasks or herbs? Maybe frost arrow, grim cap. I think that's a that's a herb. Uh, food, 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 food. I have no need for some of these things. There's another flask. Oh, gotta make sure I'm not gonna lean too far forward into my microphone. And, uh, how are people doing on food? Let's, uh, go ahead and distribute the snail slices from each according to their ability to each according to their need. Or something like that. Okay. Oh, there we... there we... go. If I had another bag, which I do, I'm gonna start storing torches in a in this bag. That seems like a that seems like a fairly wise choice. Um, don't need this knife. I I don't think there's ever gonna be an opportunity for us to just sell things. So I'm not super concerned about keeping trash items because that I I don't think that's ever gonna be a thing. Okay. Temporarily. Why would, why would I want that to? Oh, I see. I could run across here, but there's a there's another spider up ahead. So let's go. Um, let's go fight the spider. There we go. So, I pres- There has to be some, some reason for that, right? Okay, this- Moving, teleporting, magic. That- that's interesting. That is- that is very interesting. Okay. So, all I can think is that there must be a reason to- do this. Uh, if there is, though, I don't see it. Oh. That's the reason. Okay. Oh. No, there we go. I, I saw that coming when I accidentally overshot. Uh... Well... Since we're down here, may as well see what we can see. Might be able to find an extra secret or something if we investigate. Now, I think one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm so into Grimrock um, right now is... I do really feel like it understands the finer points of a good dungeon crawl. Like, yeah, there's combat and stuff, but the combat is very much... In 
interesting. Put an item there. Okay. I need an item to put here. I think. I, 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 there, this could be absolutely nothing. Uh, but what I was saying, though, is it understands the importance of focusing on puzzles and making you actually think about what's going on. Which is very, very, very much so a good thing. Oh, okay. Maybe... There is... well, hmm. A serpent bracer. A bracer fashioned after a venomous tropical snake. The teeth of the snake bite into the forearm of its wearer. Resist poison plus 50, protection plus 2. Uh, I'm definitely going to give that to Ivan, because Ivan keeps getting messed up. <laughs> Even though this totally sounds like a cursed item. <laughs> Still, though, I think that's like one of the first uh, actually kind of cool sounding items that we've gotten in this dungeon, so I mean, I guess falling into the pit really wasn't the worst thing in the end. I overshot again. It's surprisingly easy to do in this game. There we go. Unlocked the other secret here. I mean, it's just this game is so filled with secrets um, And that's what's I think is gonna make it really Really enjoyable for me is trying to really navigate and trying to figure out all of these little niche Things what does this do? Gain health plus 25 like, permanently? I should probably give that to, uh, give, give that to Ivan, seeing as Ivan is our actual fighter in the group. Ivan, yeah, holy shit. We're just finding the good items now, okay. I mean, not only are there a bunch of secrets, but the secrets have actually been very rewarding to find. It's not just like I'm finding, oh, you found uh, underwear of mild discomfort plus one or something dumb like that, you know? Okay, I think I know what I need to do here, actually. Never mind, that didn't work. Nope, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do either. Oh dear, okay, where am I? Presumably in a different... No, no, same one. Okay. I wonder how long it's going to take before I actually just straight up get murdered by um, fall damage in this game. I don't think... I, have I had a character death yet? I don't think so. How on earth... Am I to do this? Hmm. I'm 
tr- I'm like I'm I'm trying so hard to like think this through because we've got two separate um got two separate instances of the thing. I go here, it opens. It closes the second that I get off of it though. On top of which I can't Yeah, I, I can't actually get over there. Rock. It's giving me a rock. That means I must need to use this rock in some... Un unless... Unless... I have a theory. And the theory is that there might be another way I could go. I'm not seeing any other way, though. I wouldn't really gain anything from just throwing the rock straight ahead. Now the rock's gonna be down there. There's a pressure plate over there that I can't get to. But, actually, I know what I need to do. I think I just figured it out. Okay. So, I have the, this rock, right? I go here, I go here, and then I throw the rock, I close that. So now the central thing is closed. And I can stand here and be safe. Which means I can get to that side. And if there's anything over here, I'll be able to find it. I see, this is what I'm talking about, though. You know, this is, this is a dungeon crawler that really makes you think. And that is making it out to be one fantastic game. Hmm. Unfortunately for me, it does seem... Can I just... That wasn't helpful. I was hoping that the torch would still be lit if I threw it. Okay, so we have a thing here, and I cannot continue unless I find a way to close it. That looks like a door, like one of those secret iron doors, and then there's some bars over there. There's no pressure plates, just a pit down. Is there a loose stone, maybe? Or maybe, maybe I have to, you know, I... I don't think I'm going to be able to do that right quite yet. I think that first thing I have to do here is I have to solve this. Am I running out of rocks? I think I'm running out of rocks. I don't actually have any benefit to holding this skull in my inventory. There we go. And we're through. Can't go back, however. Now we're on the other side. I think it's just about time for us to run into another monster as well. So I'm not going to be surprised if there's something in the darkness down there. Gosh, I would, like, actually kill to be a part of a, um like an advanced Dungeons and Dragons like campaign or something like that that actually played out like this. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't even necessarily have to be that specific role playing system or anything like that, but I I like I love a good dungeon crawl. And playing this game is just really making me realize like how much I wish I could actually have um an opportunity to, to be into something like that. 
All right, let's destroy the eggs. I thought there was going to be maybe a thing over here, but I'm not seeing any. Not sure there was any benefit to really destroying those eggs other than killing innocent spider life. Well, time for fighting. People are probably gonna get that's the innocent spider life is probably the most controversial thing that I've said on stream in a while. I, I'm gonna tell you the most horrible blasphemous thing. I actually like spiders. Um, I wouldn't do well in a place like Australia because I'd be like, oh, look at the cute little spider, and then promptly die because it turns out to be, uh, like a you know, a thousand times more poisonous than any spider that. I've ever encountered in my life. Not living there. Not living in the land of spiders that actually kill you. So you have it. Oh, I should really give you some anti venom, shouldn't I? There you go. I can stop dying. How does that make you feel? Do you like not dying? I like not dying. Uh... Get another one of those, and... A healing potion. There we go. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the introduction of, like, the alchemy elements here. And potion making and all that. I'm not always a huge fan of crafting systems in games where they don't need to be there, but in this game, it's actually pretty nice because it uh, it gives you something. It, it it's another thing to think about, and the the introduction of like the herbs and the mushrooms and all of that it it makes you feel very much so resourceful in like your endeavors. Oh fuck. I need you to drink a health potion. Keep fighting, please. Almost accidentally threw the bow. See, now, now we're getting kind of a properly intense battle as I'm sort of sitting here like, oh shit, this is actually uh of consequence, accidentally just fizzled my spell. I'm getting sloppy. Oh shit, there's another one? This is a little excessive game. Oh, one of our one of our people died. Bye, rogue. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna run away. That that was a that was a metric fuck ton of spider. Oh boy, is there actually like a way to to bring your your people back, or am I just like fucked now? I need to hand out more anti-venom. Oh, two of my people are dead. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and sleep. Oh, boy. Actually, I bet I know what I have to do. I would put money on this, actually, that I know what I have to do. Um, uh, 
Okay. So if if I'm right, what I need to do it well that was a fucking mistake. I'm back down here. Okay. The not helpful zone. Okay. Uh, we need to go back this way. Yes, okay, I I called that. I'm very glad that I called that because I would have been so lost otherwise. Okay, deep breath, and uh, let's let's start uh, heading back. I hope that I didn't lose uh, a bunch of experience or anything like that, because I was very much so not actually prepared for that fight. Does anyone not have pants? Everyone has pants. Okay. I love how does everyone have pants is a perfectly reasonable question to ask in this game. Give the cow its skull back. Sure, it has great sentimental value. Uh, and this is the way to the killer insect. Or not insect, arachnid. Wonder if it chased me at all. I mean, if it wasn't quite so many of the damn things, it would have been fine. I mean, I guess I could have just closed the door right there and filled up between fights, but I just didn't think of it. Lots and lots of spider egg. It looks like I'm going to... What's this? Other loincloth. Useless. Okay. How much do you want to bet that at least one of these a spider is going to burst forth from? Key. I want this torch. Uh, add this torch to the box of torches I'm collecting. A long sword? Well, that's useless. We don't use things like actual weapons here. It'd be interesting to try to do an entirely unarmed combat party or something like that. I don't think it would go very well, honestly. I mean, I kind of feel like already Ivan is kind of falling behind in terms of um, actual viability. Have I been over here already? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Hmm. I demand a sacrifice. You know what? You can have the skull. Oh, the skull's not good enough for you, huh? Skull's not good enough for you. Is there like a button, maybe, that I have to utilize? It's 
Something heavy, perhaps? Do you want the longsword? Oh, here we go. Well, I gave you a sacrifice. Did anything happen? I think I think this game may have just duped me. I don't th I don't think it actually gave me anything at all for that. <laughs> oh wait, yes it did. Um, Silco's that's protection plus two. Bam. Okay. So now we have both of the keys to open this door. Let's uh, go ahead and iron key and who did I give the other key to? There we go. Iron key. Who would have guessed that there would have been a spider on the other side of this door? It's almost like it's a recurring theme here. Oh. Level up. Gonna go sit in the corner while I level up. <sighs> I suppose one of the reasons why Ivan is falling uh, behind is because I've been focusing more on armors than on armed combat. Okay, light armor proficiency and health plus 10. Very nice. Let's get that vitality plus 2 as well. Let's just focus on getting all of the bonuses we can for Ivan. Ah, uh, Gamdok Darkheart! I forgot that we named this guy with such an edgy name. Ooh, let's see, assassination, daggers, and dodge. Okay. Well, we should definitely get that, so that's energy plus five. And uh, let's get backstabbing. Double damage when attacking enemy from behind. That sounds, uh, that sounds very worthwhile. And, uh, maybe... Maybe the rest we put into dodge. I, f I feel like... Seeing as Gamdok is one of our frontline characters... That... It'd be a good idea to have, um... Gamdok have a little bit more dodge. So, let's see here. We get energy plus 10. That is definitely worthwhile. Oh, oh, whoa, we can get 25% 25% faster casting speed if we get up to level 10 spellcraft. That actually sounds very good, but I want this new spell unlock. And uh, you know, I'm going to just uh I'm just going to dump the rest into into spellcraft willpower plus one cool i'm gonna save the game seeing as i just went through the effort of leveling a bunch of people up oh here we go How long until we get poisoned again? It doesn't seem like anyone actually gets a polearm proficiency at all.
going to continue to be the the highly highly specialized um, party member. Uh, this is a mirror image of the very first room of this floor of the dungeon, uh, which required us to put the torches in in order to unlock a door. And I'm going to bet that there is a secret to be unlocked here if we essentially replicate what we did much earlier in the game. Bye! the rest of the torches in this bag gonna be a little genuinely surprised if there isn't um Well, I guess I was wrong. We do not get anything special for doing that again. Okay. This is fine. Guess we're just gonna continue on. Maybe if we would have had enough to put on the other two as well. It's a button here. Is this still a new? Yeah, this is still a new area. I don't know what the button does, so I'm gonna hold off on pressing it. There's a second button. Is there gonna be a spider just around the corner here, do you think? I wish that I could lean and kind of peek around the corners without actually having to move over here. Hmm. Now, there's at least going to be one spider in there. So is this a thing where we push the wrong button, we get the spiders? Because I kind of feel like this may be one of those situations. Well, it doesn't really look like I have any other choice than to push the button. Oh, oh. There's the spider release mechanism. Bye, spider. Are you coming to kill me? Well, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get over there. Let's, uh, let's focus on killing the spider first. Wait a tick. Wait, 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 wait. Where did where did I unlock the thing? Okay, so I pushed that. That opened. So now I see it opened two walls actually, so that I can go this way. Hmm. There's no possible way that I can push the button and get to this door in time. Just by moving. Oops. Were, were they po- oh, they were, they were poisoned. I didn't even realize. Shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry about that, person.
I think my other one's gonna be fine, though. Hmm. I feel like there should be something over here, you know? Like something that would actually help me solve this puzzle. This portcullis is not like me. Maybe, maybe I do just need to like do. I'll try that. I'll try that one more time. I may actually be able to do that. No, it's it's just. Just not actually good at, like, not actually a thing I can do. It's very, very close, though. I'm, I'm actually tempted to try, like, once more just to see. And I can't push the button from here. Like, if I wasn't running into that wall, I might... There we go. See, so yeah, I just had to get my button presses, like... Fuck. I might die here. I didn't... I I was in need. I did not consider what I was running into. This is a... This is an angry spider den. I did not need to fight another collection of angry spiders who are not my friend and who want me to die. Please no kill. Okay, uh, you need... You need... Health potion, sure, why not? I need to give all my flasks back to the mage. I need to have you. Make a few extra health potions for the crew. There we go. Well, we didn't actually end up dying, so that's good. I really don't know why I bother to have the compass. <laughs> it doesn't actually seem to be helpful at all. So, is this... Okay, so this is now permanently opened. That's good. <sighs> More spiders. Really? Okay. How far... How far am I from... The stone. I have to go way, way back to get to the stone. All right, sorry, Gamdok, but it looks like you're gonna be um, you're gonna be dead for a little while. Which is a shame, because presumably Gamdok isn't gonna get those sweet XP points. How- how were you attacking before I was even at the corner that you were attacking? Stupid psychic spider. I'm gonna have to, like, actually tag this stream with arachnophobia, like, warnings, probably.
If if one comes up behind me right now, that would that would literally just be the end of it. <sighs> okay. I wonder if it's if it uh just entirely negates the XP share for that particular party member, or if it just um makes it so the other three are getting more XP. That'd be that'd be interesting because if it if it means that uh the three are getting more XP while because they're a weaker party, then there could actually be some interesting strategies relating to basically just purposefully killing off your your other party members and going through the game with only one. And trying to get like ultra high level very quickly. I feel like it's been a really long time since we've seen any loose stones. Which makes me think that there really should be a loose stone around here somewhere. Just, just because we haven't seen any for a long time. Maybe they're purposely trying to desensitize me um, into not looking for loose stones anymore so that they... Uh, they can pull them back in later in the game and I won't I won't have that instinct to just immediately recognize loose stones everywhere I look. That wasn't actually very helpful, was it? Oh great, it's time for another spider fight. Just 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 kill me, game. Just kill me. I always have trouble with like spider levels and, and similar things in a in a lot of RPGs and the uh honestly the, the biggest one is always oozes. I they I am like the nemesis of ooze creatures, um in the sense that they always just fuck my day up really badly. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna go find where there's a door. Which I think is right here. And I'm gonna let my people take a nap. Rather than wasting a health potion, because my, my mage has so little energy as well. Okay. So here we go. Time to fight the spider. This should not be too difficult, seeing as it seems to only be one. Oh, there's probably going to be more than one down there. Uh, what's over here? Have I been this way? I don't think I've been this way. Yeah, yeah, I did not go this way yet. I'm going to save that. I'll, I'll come back to that in just a second. I want to see what's down here. Okay. This is, this is basic. Like, this level is called the Archives, but really it's just like spider hell. A round shield. You know what? I'll accept that. I'll take a round shield. And, uh, give the torch to the dead person, and for some reason that works? <laughs> for some reason, dead people, like, go ghost light 
question mark? I don't know. Time for fighting. Because this is what we do. You know, we're getting some ridiculously good hits in with that spear. I have a feeling that I'm going to need to pull out another health potion in a second here, though. I'm like... Kind of annoyed that... I can't really just effectively... Just get enough arrows to really make the most out of having such a strong, dedicated archer. Also, Ivan, can you stop getting hit for tons of damage? There's another. Give me a, give me a second to breathe, spider. Oh. Just gonna do some alchemy while I'm looking at the spider. Yeah, nice. Another achievement. <sighs> okay, go ahead and drink that. And the fight can now continue. I like how I just have this one person in the front lines. Yeah, it, it actually occurs to me. I have no reason not to just put a spear in the offhand, like so. Other than the fact that that seems really stupid the more that I think about it, like, in a realistic sense. Because now I don't have to worry quite so much when I don't have... All of the, 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 the mana that I want. Do you not? Where is it? Drink it. That was close. The spears actually seem a little overpowered in this game. <laughs> Although, I think that that's going to be mitigated in later on when they just don't have any actual... What's the phrase I want to use? Um, skill benefits? So it's like, yeah, I guess they're powerful, but then also not really. Also, it'd be, it'd be really nice if I could have a save crystal. How many spiders will there be behind this door? Let's find out. What the? Oh, this is new. Spectral relay. Okay. So what needs to happen is I need to open this so that the bolt of magic can get into that. I would presume anyway. I could of course be totally wrong. And then once that happens, this door should open. Okay. 
Let's go over here, maybe. I just, I just, I just really want to save crystal. Damn it! <laughs> Give me a save crystal. Instead of save crystal, I get even more spiders. I should have seen this coming. I mean, like, I avoided going back to the save crystal to... Swordsman. None of my people are using swords. Perform 500. Oh, just perform 500 melee attacks. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm never actually going to get anything from killing off these eggs, am I? Yet I'm just sort of doing it on this vague hope that I might get something. <sighs> Where am I? Ah, okay. Getting my getting my bearings on the map again. Like I'm I'm just I'm so so far away from the save crystal. I don't want to have to I don't want to have to go back. So, I should okay, in order to progress, I need to go this way. Let's just go ahead and do that. And, uh, let's, uh... Oh, I, I want to try something here. Um... Mushroom... That... It doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Time to get killed by spiders. Oh! Actually, no. For once, I'm not getting killed by spiders. Would you look at that? So what's in here? Some... Let's see here. Getting very close to the formula. Mixing powdered grim cap with a witch flower almost works. I think I'm... Missing one more ingredient. Okay. Scroll of shock. Tar beads and cave nettle. I'm just going to give this whole box to my mage, because they seem to be the one who would actually use this stuff. Anything in here? At all? No? <sighs> huh. Okay. Oh, I just realized how to fix the thing. Okay. I I don't need to be this way. I thought I thought this was going to show me the secrets of the universe, but I just realized the secrets of the universe on my own. And by that, I mean I'm actually going the completely wrong direction. No? No, I'm not. I take that back. Uh, oh boy. What do I want to get rid of? The, the, I have a ton of these of these mushrooms. Ah, the shield. So this creates the thing. This is a baked maggot on a stick. So, so wholesome. Just, just so, so wholesome. That goes in there, opens up the door. 
There's a save crystal over there. And a light leather cap. Uh, actually, you know, this might be a worthwhile investment. Um, put on this light leather cap and, like, my protection went down a little bit, but my evasion just skyrocketed, which I think is a good thing overall. The game is saved, and finally we have resurrected our companion. Finally. Also, on the map, I'm gonna put a uh, re res crystal. So now I know that that's there because that is not automatically marked for some reason. What on earth is that? Some sort of golden key slot to open this. Ah, uh, you know... Let's, uh... Let's not use that one. There we go. Where was the room where I thought that they were going to do the thing again, but then... Is it that one? Oh, you, you guys can't even see my cursor, can you? <laughs> yeah, I explicitly have OBS to set to not capture cursors. Okay. So... Yeah, no, no, no. I, I what, I'm, what I'm thinking... No, no, it would be that one. Okay. What's the fastest way I can get there? I think I need to go this way. There was that room with the torch holders where I thought that I needed to do it, but I didn't have enough for every single one that was there. And I'm I'm willing to bet that that may be the secret that I have I, I yet need. Although, well, there's also this thing here. Which I never did, um, which I never did figure out. Hmm. Okay, so this is the Pillar of Light room that I was talking about. So let's let's test this theory. I wonder if actually I do these three like the original room because I don't I don't think I should need the other two. I, that would go against what I was taught from earlier in the dungeon and that would go against a very basic principle of dungeon like design here. So I get those, right? And then I come back no, that did not open this. Maybe... Maybe this is a matter of not having this? Aha! That was actually much simpler than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Hmm. Cave nettle and a torch. There's also a pit. Have I been over there yet? Cause I I I wanna I wanna figure the secret out before we move on. <sighs> okay, so that's there. That means that there has to be a thing in the pillar of light room to get into there, some sort of, some sort of secret. That's, that's the only thing that would make sense to me. So 
So let's go back to the Pillar of Light room. So now, in theory, one of these, probably this, the, this one over there, is a secret. So let's try filling out every single one. I mean, it did give me a torch after all. I, I think it could, in theory, be something over here as well. But I'm not seeing anything. I would expect, um, a button or something if it involved this sort of area. Okay. Obviously that, that button's been accounted for. Maybe the opposite? Maybe no torches here? Okay, there we go. Apparently we needed a pillar of darkness. What did I have? Okay, okay, that opens the that opens the door. What do we have here? A Huntsman Cloak. Uh, evasion plus four, dexterity plus um, one, vitality. Okay, I'm gonna give that to the to the archer. Who will someday actually be an archer once I have enough arrows saved up. So, Huntsman Cloak, discovered. Did we find a key, though? No. No, we did not. Hmm. Which means we have not truly found all of the all of the secrets I've been looking for down here. Uh, I... Okay. To open up that door, we need to do the original Pillar of Light. Okay. Keeping all these torches is a bit of a hassle. So I'm guessing that we find the key toward the very end, um, if it's going to be anywhere. I don't, I don't really suspect it would be a part of this whole, like, labyrinth. Um, I could be totally wrong, though. So I need to keep an open mind about where I might encounter the secret to find the key. I'd honestly kind of half expect it to be boiled crag beetle. That's gross. Okay. Why do I keep finding food that's pre-cooked? This is really bothering me. Like, all these ba like baked maggot? How do you bake a maggot in a place that has no stoves? Or ovens, rather. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm... Perhaps missing something here. Oh, leather gloves. I don't think I have any of these yet. Oh, 
Oh, a spider. I don't know if I should take that as a good sign or not. I mean, hypothetically, that means I haven't really explored this part as much. Aha, yeah, there is actually an entire area over here. Secret found. Apparently this was a secret. I don't know how it was a secret, but it was a secret. And here's another secret. An alternate down... Huh. Maybe the key's down here. I'm gonna save. I thought I saw something. Feed me. Okay. You require snail slice? Feed you what? Oh, oozes. I'm going to die. These things are tough. They're not doing a ton of damage, and they're not poisoning me, so I guess I can't complain too much. Oh, they... Oh, shit, they can attack me through bars. Okay! <sighs> I'm glad that I saved. Let's do this. Um... Okay, and they can in fact poison. This is this is gonna go very well for me. And they they poisoned my back row. I'm gonna get attacked by two at once. I may actually just not be strong enough to take on these enemies. I mean, this one is refusing to die. I keep accidentally trying to use things that I can't. Oh, God. Uh, slime ball? Slime, slime bell? Uh, let me, let me escape. I need to leave. I need to leave. I'm not going to be able to leave. Uh, what do I even do here? Okay. Level up, huh? Okay. Let's get jab. I don't know how to use jab, but... Okay. I'm going to do my best here to escape. I'm just going to try focusing on killing this very specific one. Getting attacked from behind. Uh, I'm doing tons and tons of damage now with my, uh, 
with my like primary fighter type character here. This is still recoverable if I can get out of here. There we go. So what I need to do is I need to go this way, I think. I really did not need to run into more spiders. In fact, I'm going to ignore this spider and hope that I can... Maybe just... Go over here. Have all of my friendos come back. Oh no! <sighs> Shit. Okay, so I'm guessing that I get the key from, from the slime zone. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm getting a, a, tons of experience from this, so I'm definitely wanting to figure, figure this out. Um, I think this getting the extra experience and all that is definitely going to help me out later in the game. So it seems like a good idea. Uh, let's get that 25% faster casting, and, uh... <sighs> what else do I want? I guess uh, some extra fire magic is not a bad idea. Oh, this reset. Oh, that's because I'm fuck. Okay. 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 I can. I can do this. I can do this. Da da da. Da da da. No. Da da da. Da da da. Don't need to go that way. Let's just keep that skull there. That can be its new home. Pillar of Light. Alright, where... where was... thing? So yeah, this way... Through there. Up here, and then back down. There we go. Save game. Yes. Time to fight some more slimes. I wonder if they if they respawned all of the slimes or not. A pearl-like plant with very hard shell. Yeah, then interesting. Okay. I wonder how many spells there actually are in this game. Like, I'm, I'm really genuinely curious, uh, considering the sort of number of combinations for the runes. I mean, it's a uh, 9 by 9. You can't choose the same one twice. That's still quite a lot of combinations. I feel... Okay, uh, Complacent Joe gained a level. Alright, Complacent Joe. We- we really need to give you some, um, some dodge. Okay. Extra dodge has been acquired. Let's 
Let's try not to get ourselves killed quite so badly this time. I should really try to pay attention to where the other slimes are, but I just want to kill it as fast as possible. Also, is that technically grammatically correct? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. 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 There we go. Um, to do something as fast as possible. It's something that's very frequently said where I'm from, but like when I actually say it out loud here on stream, I'm like, I wonder if that's just a specific dialect thing of where I'm from, or if that's like actually proper English. Because I have a feeling it's not actually proper English. Let's take a nap. I want everyone to have their energy and the like back before we continue onward. I need a drink. There we go. Oh boy, uh, people need to eat. I should be terribly surprised that people need to eat, all things considered. We have been romping around a dungeon, killing things. Somewhat, somewhat indiscriminately, mind you. See, like, there's a part of me when I can, when I know that I'm just going to be fighting one of them, I'm actually a little bit excited about it. Because it's like, these things are worth so much experience right now. I will, I will gladly, like, kill these things, and they don't, they don't necessarily do too much damage, either, as the other half of it. So I feel like Slime Dungeon here is, uh, definitely worthwhile, and, uh, it does seem like you do get more experience with less people, if I'm paying attention to the numbers correctly. Uh, was there actually any reason to be over here? See, uh, you know, there's a part of me that wants to ask, like, why would you make a s this, like, weird slime dungeon thing? But I suppose the entire idea is it's somewhat of a labyrinth. Could you imagine how different fantasy games in general would be if we would not have, like, the historical, um, or the, the supposedly historical story of, of the, the, um, the, the labyrinth and all that? I mean, I know that there's actually, um, there was actually, like, a dungeon-y maze thing that they built, although I, I sincerely doubt it had a minotaur in it. <laughs> I'd be a little skeptical if someone tried to tell me that there was actually a minotaur in the labyrinth. But still, like, just just the story, the, the mythology of it, you know, is so very, very influential. What do we have here? Golden deity figure. Okay. Sh caused a slight earthquake um, by touching it. That's cool. That's a good sign. But I don't think that's actually what I came down here looking for. Okay, so... I still haven't figured out how to feed the statue. 
Have I? Um, and I don't know what that, um, I don't know what that button did either. As far as I can tell, it didn't really do anything at all. And that makes me a little... Hello? Green gem. Uh, this is probably what it needs. It probably needs the green gem. But I don't think I found anything that specifically said secret found. Wait a tick. Does that close? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, now I know what everything did, so I can go back. I should be able to give the green gem to the to the statue. And in doing so, perhaps, yes. Slimed. Survive the slimes. Apparently, I actually get an achievement for surviving the slimes. Nice. A crossbow and six poison corals. Interesting that they actually use the phrase coral and not bolt in this game. Actually, was rather shocked when I used the phrase coral in a D&D game I was running recently, and the one, one of the, um, actually two of the players had never heard the word before, despite the fact that they are themselves, like, um, you know, people who've played a fair amount of tabletop role-playing stuff. Okay, so pro, we got an achievement, uh, tons of experience, and we survived the slimes. And the crossbow, of course, is definitely a plus. Attack power 20. How does that compare to the short bow? Oh, it's much more powerful than the than the short bow. Okay. Let's equip those poison corals. This game is really really like making me work for my ammunition. I mean, at least the ammunition isn't used up instantly, so there's that. So I want to go down. This, seem this seems like a room there should be a secret in. It really does. It's kind of big and long and mostly empty. Like, this is the sort of place where I would expect one of these one of these walls to have a loose stone, but it does not seem to be the case. The thing is, we still haven't figured out how to get this this unlocked. And like obviously this the statue isn't gonna do the trick. Do I need to purposefully fall down here, maybe? One moment. I'm gonna be stupid and fall down. Oh. Well, there's one of these things. Ah, oh, the poison corals just become regular corals. Okay. Leather greaves. Okay. Let's uh, swap out our silk hose for the leather greaves. And uh, let's see. Silk hose. Leather pants. Peasant pants. The silk hose, I think, they look slightly better than the peasant stuff. So I'm going to swap these out for the peasant thing. Just... just basically because so the poison wears off the bolts after one use which is not the end of the world because we still get the bolt itself back all 
All right, I think we're done here. I, I'm i not gonna be able to, I, I yeah. I've, I've spent more than enough time trying to figure out how to find the golden key or whatever it would be. Well, that closed. I should probably not stay in the poison cloud, huh? These are nasty, nasty enemies. These are really nasty enemies. I mean, it, it helps because my fighter has that uh, that snake armlet that we found at the very beginning of the stream today, so he's not taking a lot of damage, but everyone else is, which is no good. No bueno. Should be one more crossbow? Coral to pick up, I think. Or maybe it got destroyed. There's probably a slight chance that they get destroyed upon use. Well, I'm not going back up. Okay. This is fine. A-okay. -okay. This, is a, this is a great way to... S This is a great way to, to start off. Getting locked in a room, nearly killed by the poisonous death things. Having all but Ivan die. There are... Need to find a key. I mean, there has to be some sort of secret, right? This game would not be so cruel as to just put me in a death room with no way out. So there has to be... Oh wait, maybe maybe I already... Uh... Well, there's that crossbow bolt I'm missing. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. Did I... I picked up a key. Yep, I'm just being an idiot. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be my first actual wipe. As I traverse the... As I, as I traverse the dungeon. Here. Empty flask. Definitely want to keep that. A scroll. Store energy. One flask, one blood drop blossom. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be fun. Well, it I I escaped, I guess. <laughs> This isn't necessarily what I wanted, but I escaped. Oh, I see. Do I need to block it with my own body? Well, I didn't do damage. That's good. Oh. 
It's time for fighting. You think these are gonna be more powerful than the old ones? Because if they're not, I should be able to... I should be able to solo this. I wonder how much experience Ivan's gonna get. I don't, I don't think this is actually any more powerful. It's, it's not damaging me at all. Lucky Ivan. I mean, we basically just gotta see here and see how long it takes for Ivan to kill these things. It, like, literally, all I have going through my head right now is the theme from Dwarf Fortress. Just sort of playing in the background of my mind. You know what? I'm actually... I'm gonna play it for you right now, so you can join me. Oh, shit. How dare you attack me. I actually quite like the design of these uh, sort of like skeletal legionnaire individuals. And War Fortress music. <laughs> Someone posted the video of, of the Dwarf Fortress theme for 10 hours, and that's the first thing that comes up. There we go. Now, now you can join me. And, and what is going through my head right now. Give you some nice soothing jams. As I lament about my party's survival right now. Pressure plate here. What do you think it does? I kind of want to make sure I've killed everything before I get too adventurous. It's actually a bunch of pressure plates. So I'm thinking maybe what's going to happen here is I need to be able to press down on all of them at once. How much experience am I getting for each of these? These extremely non-threatening enemies. You know, I, I honestly, I kind of think the game expected everyone but one of your characters to die here. Considering... Uh, 90 XP, that's, that's not so bad, seeing as how easily, how easily I'm killing them. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and push down this first. Push down that first plate and keep it depressed. Though I'd much rather use a shield. I don't think that's actually keeping it pushed down, though, is the thing. Well, what did that open?
Presumably something. Seeing as uh, there's another enemy here now. Mysteriously out of nowhere. I've had enough of the uh, of of subjecting everyone to dwarf fortress music. Had enough, I say. Ah, this would be it. Ring gauntlets. Cool. And leather boots. Anything in here? Like a button I could push, maybe? Does not look like it. Well, I don't actually have the heavy armor proficiency. Swap that torch out that my dead companion is holding. In spectral form, apparently. Like... I'm just, I'm just very, very glad right now... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you think I'm supposed to do that for every single one? Okay, there should be another one. Spawning somewhere, if I'm right. Where are you gonna spawn? There we go. Come on, follow me. Oh, turn around. Where did it go? You, come here. Just gotta move it over here. And uh, in a second here, it's going to walk over, get itself trapped. So now we've done two. And I don't think this door was open before. I think, let me, let me check the map, let me check the map. Yeah, we just, uh, Okay. What I really want to know, though, is... Is there a secret if I do all of them? It's like, we have one... Or is there only three? Maybe there's only three. One, two, three. Yeah, there's only three, okay. Get this blood drop blossom. What an edgy name for a flower. Sometimes you really have to be perceptive to pick up on, on some of the, the things around. Because, like, items can very easily blend into just the ground if you're not careful. Okay, this is the wrong way. We are going this way. Let's 
time for the, uh, these enemies again. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be. I kind of want to play until I get to the next, um, the next save crystal, and then I'm probably going to call it quits for the day. I'm getting over being, um, unwell, so I need, I need my rest. I am super enjoying this game, though. Like, there's a part of me that just wants to stream it all day and just be like, nah, let's do this, you know, eight-hour Grimrock stream. It'd also be really great just to have my party members back so that they could start gaining XP again. Like, Ivan is cool and all and is being a total, uh, like, an amazing solo character, but I'd, I'd like the rest of my party to be present <laughs> and not dead. I'd also like to stop missing. There we go. Still more? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I should have been a little bit suspicious when the when the crystal was like right next to the exit down to the next level. So I have two options. Either A I can read the scroll. What does it say? But still dreaming. Okay. So either A, I can get teleported, or B, I can accept a death. This might be the end. This is some amazing AI. I mean, they're actually doing damage to me, which means it may actually be the be the end here. I think if I if I end up dying, um, which is highly likely, mind you. Um, yep. I very specifically did not save before, or, or um, I, did, I very specifically chose not to save after everyone kind of died. Oh, this is bothering the hell out of me. I want to know how to open this door. Fuck. <sighs> All right. Sometimes I I, I don't want to look up a guide. I want to play this this game without. With, with accepting that I'm not going to find every single secret. Even if it's going to bother the absolute shit out of me. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to step forward and we're going to... We're not going to lose anyone this time. Come on. Bam. Bam. We're going to... Shimmy this way. Gonna do some damage to both of those. We're gonna equip the generic standard crossbow bolts. Okay, and bam, bam. I just gotta keep moving.
Where are those, where are those damn crossbow bolts? Gotta, gotta stay out of it. It can kill me. It can kill people so quickly if I, if I stay in there. I mean, we're getting, we're getting dangerously close here already. Okay. I'm gonna throw a bomb. Gonna throw another bomb. I think I just threw multiple bombs at once. I'm a little bit confused about that. So, still, like, where, where, where did those crossbow bolts go? Are you... Oh, I, I think maybe... There we go. Got them back. So they, they actually stuck in the body of the enemy. This shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. That is that that is so much more um that that, that is such a such a better way to start this whole little expedition out. In fact, I'm gonna <sighs> I'm actually gonna save after that because that was that was very good. And uh let's let's go ahead and uh let's let's snooze for a little bit because I have way more I have way more food than I have health potions. And, uh, can I, like, just experiment here? The... Not skilled enough to cast spell. Okay. About that. Spell fizzles. Spell fizzles. I figure I may as well experiment a little bit. Spell fizzles. Spell fizzles. Fizzles. Have I done that? Okay. It was worth a shot. I'm I'm not super concerned about being able to, to cast spells anytime soon because I know what's through the store and the, those combat moments are not going to Time and Tide. I love how they're trying so hard to just sort of maneuver out of my way so that I can't actually kill them. Time and Tide. Hmm. Time and Tide. I know that's, that's a saying, is it? Eternally imprisoned. Put to sleep. Beast gardens and menagerie. The catacomb. Trails of thought. Well, I'm curious. Very curious, truth be told. Which one is this? Beast Gardens and Menagerie. Let's let's check out the Beast Gardens and Menagerie. Just looks like the um the place I was before. Let's go back.
This is different. Okay, so so each of these teleporters takes us to a different zone. That's nerve-wracking. That just clicking, aggressive clicking noise. It clicks three times. Oh. Well, that was- Whoa, 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 this is different. You can't just- What? What? Oh, wow, totally different wall textures. Holy shit, holy sh I should not be so excited over different wall textures, but I genuinely didn't- I never thought they were going to change in this game. I thought that the entire game was going to look like it does, it does on the above level. Holy shit, this is cool. Oh, I love it. God, I am in love. I, I am just in love with this game. Um, I am so glad that I decided to stream this. It's so much... There's so much going on here that I'm enjoying. There we go. Well, that didn't work. Uh, the the loincloth was not the ideal projectile. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, that that also didn't work. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna have to go down there if I want to get my my item. I don't even know if that's gonna work actually. Now that I think about it. Timing puzzles. This game, this is like a, this is a letter of hatred from this game to me personally. Okay, I'm gonna jump down here. Take lots of. Oh, fuck! One of my people is actually dead. The things I do for a crossbow bolt. Well, it was down here, so it's not a total loss. All right. Let's uh, get the loincloth again. I guess it's a useful projectile some sometimes. Actually, there's a very, very, very good reason to pick this up. Just, just the sense that I need to put something on there. Okay. Uh, nothing else over here, really. So I guess... Begrudgingly, this is what I need to do. Oh. Let's wait for that to come over so I can fight it. One hit. I like that. I like that a lot. I'll gladly accept a one hit. That was the wrong way. Shit. Now we've lost another another friendo.
so much death. So much ruin. I feel like I need Wayne June um, narrating my Grimrock adventure. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, Wayne June is the um, narrator to the... Oh, fuck. To the Darkest Dungeon series. And he does uh, Lovecraft audiobooks. Can I just... Where am I? I'm all the way back here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna load my game. Or I was, as we were doing this. Well, that wasn't helpful. I, I use gravity as a weapon. Achievement unlocked. Okay, that that was that was brilliant, actually. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna load my game again here, um, because I I really don't want to have to um do this this particular thing too many times because I'm severely timing impaired. Shit. I'm not- I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out of this easily, am I? So much- so much fight. God. I'm really, I'm really nervous about having my archer die, which I feel is extremely likely. Um, considering how low their health is, and I could just, like, give them a health potion. But that's a lot easier said than done, actually. Here we go. Make health potion. Consume health potion. <sighs> torch is gone. Equip new torch. Uh, now, now this friendo is gonna get killed. Come on, Ivan. Ivan, don't don't die on me now, Ivan. Very, very close. Okay. Um. So I need to do another elf potion. Give that to Ivan. Have Ivan consume that. Give the flasks over. And uh, just, let's just go ahead and get a few extra potions made. That doesn't do anything, okay. Good enough. Good enough. I seem to be missing two of my crossbow bolts. I wonder where those ran off to. I'm like trying so hard to, to not accidentally drop them anywhere. So I'm, I'm guess there we go. There they are. 
Like I, I'm so resource starved in this game that it's just like every single, in every single crossbow bolt. I'm like, oh, please let me find it again. I mean, I did jump down a pit earlier just to ensure that I would get one back, and ended up killing my um, assassin character, whose name I cannot even remember right now. All right, this is um. Looks like we've killed all of the skeletal warriors in that first section. There's a secret over there. That might be worthwhile to investigate. Since I'm actually bothering to clear this area out now. Originally I just wanted to kind of ignore it. Which was foolish because this is a game where I need to really investigate absolutely everything and try to find as much of the the hidden doodads and other other delightful things as i possibly can the difficulty is definitely ramping up after all so just as time is is a uh going on i'm also like kind of getting torch starved as well so i don't need that that one's just as there we go here's one that's uh here's a good torch ah <sighs> torch starved that's a that's an interesting new phrase i've never had to say before The question is, how do I get this portcullis open? So there's obviously stuff in there. Maybe there's a, a new sort of loose uh, stone? Maybe it's, uh... No, it's not going to be the same as that. Hmm... Like I'm, I'm trying to very carefully investigate and memorize this wall texture so that I can figure out if it is going to end up being something like a like a loose stone. I mean, it may even be a thing where it's not. You know, I think what I have to do, actually, is I think I have to fall into that space very specifically. Okay, so if I'm... Hmm. So I have the feeling that this leads up to... Maybe. Okay, so I need to figure out how to fall into that one in order to pick up the treasure. Which is going to be hell. Really? I thought I killed you guys already. Oh, great. Now I accidentally shot in a bolt into the teleporter. Well, I guess I know which teleporter I'm going in next. I'm barely getting any experience from this. These enemies are pretty trash. Well, at least they're dropping frost arrows. I'll definitely take more projectiles, because I'll probably get a better bow at some point. Alright, looks like we're going into the catacombs to pick up that, uh...
Please, please, please. Please, game. Please. Are you gonna tell me that I not only shot a bolt through the teleporter, but that that teleporter then probably spat it out into a pit? Okay. This is fine. This is 100% acceptable. I am not upset. Totally not upset. I'm gonna need to give Ivan another health potion here. Good thing we have a ton of them. These oh gosh, these th these these enemies just scooting around constantly is very very frustrating. And it is 11 o'clock. Oh boy, I wanted to uh, I wanted to be done here very soon. So let's uh, let's explore this little section of the catacombs, and then I'm gonna call it for today because I need to get some rest. Oh, hello. Crossbow corals. What a delightful thing. We have some friendos behind a bar. Nothing in this corner? Really? Okay. I'm not sure what that what that uh thing opened up though. Like I'm, I'm trying. I'm kind of trying to focus on finding the space that I just opened up before I get too much further. So, here, here they are. So the secret must be somewhere over here. I would assume, anyway. Just need to kill these guys off. Oh, having having seven crossbow corals, that's gonna be nice. Uh, this is I'm I'm like now living in the lap of luxury. <laughs> Sounds completely absurd, I know, but Okay, gimme give, give me the thing. Undepress object. See what happens. Okay, so I push I push that and presumably this opened. Let's let's test that theory. Oh, it only opens for a short time. What is this? Protection plus one dexterity plus two. A felt cap that dons a feather of a flare bird? 
Okay. Let's uh let's give it to let's give it to the cow. Cow can have a nice feather cap. Is there anything else in here that I need? Does not look like it. But still, I mean, find we found the secret nifty hat. Secret nifty hat sounds not so bad. All right, so what's still going on here? Um, so we haven't opened this. It's presumably done via this. Is, is is warlock guy even actually doing decent damage? Let's let's find out. You know, it's it's AOE, so I'm not gonna complain against enemies like this. Doesn't look like they're like 33. Now oh, that's comparable to what everyone else is doing, I suppose. So even though I purposefully chose like a horrible combination for for a magic user, it doesn't seem like it's the end of the world. Not as much as the fact that apparently I'm not picking up the. Uh, Crossbow bolts. I only have one left. That's no good. Don't care about this shit. Crossbow corals. And... What's in the bag? Mostly herb stuff. Okay. Um, leather gloves. Those might be good for the archer, because I don't think the archer has any. Grand. Absolutely grand. Okay. Oh. It's also a bone amulet. Another one of these things. Which doesn't actually seem to do anything. Hmm. I see, so there's still one one spot. I wonder if that would be the one that I did this to. So let's um rock there. Does this open or does it close? Okay, it opened. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay. So I think what this means is we go back and there should be one pressure plate. Is it that one? Probably not that one. There should be one pressure plate that still has a thing on it that I need to clear off. Where is it, though? That's, that's, like, the only question I have is... Okay. A note. 
It seems I'm not the first prisoner to go through these ancient tunnels, and in case I'm not the on the last, I have started to write down the thoughts and discoveries, although I certainly do hope that no one else needs to suffer through these dungeons. Tonin. Hmm. Okay, Tonin. I look forward to reading about your adventures when I might pick up one or two more of your notes in the future before you probably died. Yep, oh, here we go. A burrow rat shank. Is there gonna be like a big climactic finale, do you think? Oh, we're, we're back here? Interesting. Uh, this is not where I expected things to go. Not in the slightest. I'd really, really like to run into... Um... Another save crystal. So that I can get my assassin back in the game. Going to, uh... Oh, nice. Nice. I always like it when Ivan levels up. Ivan is... kind of advancing faster than everyone else, but that really does not matter. Hmm. Cool, 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 cool. So have we done anything in here? I I read this note already, right? To depths beyond measure. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I see what's going on here. I think? I really don't. But we're back here. Eternally imprisoned. Alright, well this seems like a good spot for me to- for me to save the game. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me as we continue our Grimrock playthrough. I very, very much so look forward to continuing this in the near future, and I hope to see you then. So, until then, good day.